Hi guys, welcome ulit sa channel natin. Today, ang ituturo ko na naman sa inyo is itong alternative natin sa differentiation. Now, uh, unang-una, maraming salamat sa mga nakapanood sa previous video natin. Uh, tsaka sa mga nag-subscribe. Now, if ever hindi nyo pa napanood yun, uh, that is actually tungkol sa shift solve na alternative natin. Knowing na hindi na pwede yung 9 and 1 ES or 570 ES sa November 2020 exam. Now, okay, let's proceed. By the way, ang ituturo ko pala sa inyo ng differentiation equation, I mean differentiation alternative, hindi ko alam kung magagamit ba ninyo or hindi sa board exam kasi yung kasi yung mga lumalabas kasi na problem sa differentiation sa board exam, mga madadali lang. So, uh, kayang i-solve manually. Now, if ever meron talaga mga function na mga mahirap, then you can use this method. Okay? Now, may nakuha akong mga similar problems noong uh, May 2014 at saka November 2016 na exam. Okay? So, sa number 1, we have, you are given the function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus x over 3x squared minus x. Now, let's try to solve for the slope at x equals 2. Now, sa number 2 naman, this actually came out medyo fresh pa no, November 2016. So, find the value daw of dy over dx at x equals 2 if y is equals x to the power x squared. Now, medyo mahirap yung number 2 compared sa number 1. In fact, yung number 1, you don't need to use Ano tawag doon? Uh, yung, uh, yung technique ko kasi I think kaya itong i-simplify at saka i-solve manually. Anyway, kung tinatamad ka at saka wala ka ng oras, you can use my uh, you can use yung method na natutunan ko. Okay? So, by the way, ito yung mukha natin no, sa 9 and 1 at saka 570 ES. Now, dati we can easily solve these problems mga uh, 10 seconds lang using this uh, function na ngayon, hindi na pwede. Okay? Anyway, gamitin muna natin to to solve for the answer, tapos i-compare natin mamaya sa sagot natin. Okay? So, solve natin yung number 1. Ano yan? 3 ans squared. Ah, sorry. 3x squared. Nasanay kasi ako na ans yung x plus x over 3x squared. Again, hindi to yung ituturo ko ha. Nag-check lang tayo kung ano yung sagot. So, at x equals... Okay, so that is negative, ano yan, 0.24. So, isurat natin dito. Negative 0.24. Okay. Yung sunod naman, uh, ano yan. Now, ito yung medyo mahirap. Kailangan talaga ng, uh, depende sa inyo, but ako, siguro gagamitan ko din yung technique kasi medyo mataas, tsaka kulang sa oras. If ever, I will try to solve this manually. Okay, that is, ano yan, 76.36. Okay, so before pala, before ko ituro sa inyo yung uh, alternative method, um, accounting concept muna tayo. Okay, so, dito, dito. Now, alam natin no, kung ano yung uh, derivative. That is actually the slope of the curve at a certain uh, x-axis, okay, at a, at a certain Point. Okay, for example, sa number 1, ano yung uh, function natin? Ganyan, ganyan. Siguro ganyan na lang. Okay, ganyan yung uh, curve natin. Okay, sa number 1. Tapos, we are actually asked kung ano yung slope at x equals 2. So, actually, kung para ka lang tumingin dito, tapos tinanong mo kung ano yung slope dyan. Now, ang gagawin natin is we will try to enhance this part, okay, na minuscule ba? Okay. So, parang kukuha tayo ng differential element. So, para ilalagay ko dito sa square. So, halimbawa, may nakuha na akong differential element. Yan o. Parang pag ganyan yan. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, although curve yan, pag kumuha tayo ng differential element, parang straight line na yan. Okay? So, ito yung x equals 2. Now, ang gagawin lang natin, actually, to solve for the slope, di ba, rise over run lang yan. So, we need another value dito. Okay? Siguro this value is x equals 2.000001. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is we'll just try to solve for the slope. Okay? So, this is actually yung rise, delta y. Ito naman yung run natin. Delta x. Now, simply, we can actually solve for the slope. That is actually delta y over delta x. Okay? Now, meaning, ito na yung slope at x equals 2. Ganun lang. Ganun lang kadali. Anyway, uh, check natin dito. If ever hindi nyo medyo naintindihan yung figure, uh, dito tayo. 
Oh, ito lang yung gagawin natin. Sorry. Ito lang yung gagawin natin. Oh. Let x1 equal to x. Tapos yung x sub 2 naman. By the way, yung x natin kanina is actually 2. Yung x sub 2 naman is actually x plus 0.00. Actually, depende na sa inyo. But I think mas safe pag 6 yung zeros or mas mataas. Okay, so 0.00001. Ang susunod is solve for y1 at saka y2. Now, we can actually solve for y1 at saka y2. Using our function, substitute mo lang yung x1 or x2. After nun, you can actually solve. Meron ka kasing y2, meron ka ng y1. Meron kang x2, meron kang y, uh, x1. Then you can easily solve. Okay? So, isolve na natin yung number 1 using yung method natin. Yan. Okay? So, ano yan? Uh, okay? So, burahin ko muna itong figure, ha? Okay, dapat yung makuha natin is negative 0.24. Okay, so ano yung given natin? That's 3x squared plus x over ayan, 3x squared minus x. Okay, so isulat natin dito sa calcium. So, first, kunin muna natin yung uh, y1 siguro, y1. Okay, so 3. By the way, pag, pag ginawa nyo ito sa board exam, ha, dapat... Uh, mag-recall-recall -recall na lang kayo or store nyo yung value. Huwag na kayong magsulat-sulat. Okay? As much as possible, uh, mabilis pa din yung paggawa ninyo nito. Kasi pag, ma pag mabagal kayo dito, walang silbito. Okay? Sana ginawa nyo na lang yung manual method. By the way, uh, set ko muna yung ans ko as 2. Okay? So, balik ako dito. Tapos, equals. So, meaning, ito na yung uh, yan. So, yan na yung x1 ko. Store ko na lang dito. Okay. So, balik ako dito. Ah, sorry. AC pa muna. So, next, ang gagawin ko, ang x2 ko na naman is, ano yan? Ilang, ilang x na? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Na, importante yan na uh, uh, makuha ninyo to. Baka kasi mamaya iba yung i-input ninyo. So, equals. Again, balik tayo dito. Okay. Tapos, equals naman. So, ito na yung uh, y2 ko. Okay, so ilagay ko dito sa b. Yan. Okay, so solve ko na. y2 minus y1 over, ano yun? Uh, 2 minus 2.1, I mean 2.1, 2.001 minus uh, 2. That's actually 0. 0.00000. Tama ba? Importante yan na tama yung numbers of 0 na gagamitin natin. So, equals. Ah, ba? Notice na similar lang ang sagot nila. Now, hindi ka na nag-derive uh, pa. Okay? So, siguro nakalimutan mo na yung formula. You can easily use this method. Okay? So, I hope okay tayo dyan. Proceed tayo sa number 2. Okay? Proceed tayo sa number 2. Uy, sorry. Yan pala. Okay? Sa so number 2, uh, same pa din. Find the value of dy dx at x equals 2. Ano yan? If y is equals x to the power x squared. Okay? So, Asa na yan? Yan. Okay. Okay. Y is equals x to the power x squared. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin, no, is same pa din. Uh, AC. Tapos, uh, type ako sa equation ko. That is actually ans to the power ans squared. Okay. Equals. And then, set ko ang ans ko as 2. Equals. Balik ako dito sa equation. Equals na naman. So, 16. So, ito yung y1 ko. Okay? Ang y2 ko na naman, again, set ko as 2.0000001. Yung ans ko. Equals. Tapos, balik na naman. Okay? Tapos, equals. So, ito na yung uh, shift store ko sa b. Okay? Now, again, same pa din. Uh, b, y2 minus y1 divided by point zero 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 one equals ah, di ba that is actually similar lang sa sagot natin kanina that is seventy six point thirty six okay three six one four four so i hope ha na may natutunan kayo now again if ever first time niyo medyo mahina pa siguro kayo mag type sa calcium especially sa mga recall recall but later on pag nasali na kayo i hope na makatulong to sa inyo Okay, so, uh, yan lang muna. Tapos, uh, pakishare na lang, okay, para mas marami tayong matulungan. Sige, sige. See you sa next video natin.
Maraming salamat. Salamat, salamat. Holy Grail.